Okay, this video is called, Do You Have Tight Pants Syndrome? And first of all, tight pants syndrome is actually kind of related to abdominal pressure syndrome. We talked about abdominal pressure syndrome before, that the big benefit of dietary fiber is that it, it adds bulk water to the stool. It softens the stool. So when you poop, it's like a cow patty instead of like a, a Tootsie Roll. But it has the problems if your stool is dried out. Like let's say you eat processed food and meat, which meat has no fiber. Processed food has very little fiber. So then you get a lack of water being attracted to the stool. And because of that, you'll get dried out stool in the appendix sometimes. It's called an appendical lith, or it can be dried out stool. You can, it's like a stool ball. You can call it a fecal lith. It can obstruct the appendix. You get appendicitis, okay? Um, because the stool is dried out, when you, when you defecate, it's going to be harder, and it's harder to push it out. It doesn't come out as readily. And straining at the stool, it's called valsalva maneuver. When you tighten your gut to push down, that increases the risk of rectal hemorrhoids. It produces uh, dilation of the veins in the testicles because those drain up by the, the kidneys. And you get a varicose seal. It can cause infertility. So that's an important point. Abdominal pressure syndrome. This is from lack of dietary fiber. I'm giving this intro because it's going to lead into tight pants syndrome. That can cause infertility, varicose seals. The increased abdominal pressure cause varicose veins in the legs, hiatal hernia where the esophagus um, the top of the stomach pops up into the chest, becomes like part of the esophagus, and you get gastroesophageal reflux, acid reflux in there, and that over time can eventually lead to cancer, esophageal cancer. Um, you get back pressure on the sigmoid colon, for example, and you get diverticuli outpouchings of the bowel wall. Those can pop and cause diverticulitis, increase incidence of inguinal hernias. So anyways, this is all the stuff you get from a lack of dietary fiber. Plants have fiber in their cell wall. Every single plant cell has a lot of fiber. Whereas animal cells are stabilized their plasma membrane by um, cholesterol. So all the animal foods have cholesterol, the bad stuff, and all the plants have the good stuff. Okay, so now let's get to type pan syndrome. Here's type pan syndrome, TPS. And there is some overlap with the down pressure syndrome. So when you put your pants on, you make them too tight over your lower uh, abdomen or really over your pelvis. Your pelvis is in continuity with your abdomen. The pelvis cavity, abdominal cavity are called the peritoneal cavity. They're together. In continuity, this is first described in 1993 by Octavio Bessa, and here's the article if you want the reference. And he noticed that the uh, persons with this syndrome, he especially had fat men who had gotten fat since they were younger, but they were wearing their old pants that were too tight. And um, he noticed that they had a you know relatively high incidence of hiatal hernia and gastroesophageal reflux, um, like we just talked about. That can lead to Barrett's esophagus. So you see the potential combination here. If you're eating um, processed food and meat and that lack of dietary fiber, and you superimpose upon it these tight pants, you just make the situation worse. You increase the likelihood your stomach's going to pop into your chest a little bit, causing a hiatal hernia and getting gastroesophageal reflux, which, by the way, is super common, super common. Okay, um, if you're too tight down here in the pelvis, there's a nerve that exits the pelvis to go into the lateral leg called the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. It can get compressed beneath the inguinal ligament. That has a fancy name called neuralgia parasthetica, numbness and tingling in the lateral thigh. The things that I would care more about is tight pants syndrome is associated with crotch problems. In men, uh, lowered sperm counts, sperm motility is lowered. They can get chronic testicular discomfort. They say even testicular torsion, but testicular torsion is a really, really rare thing. The bottom line is your balls hurt and your sperm counts down. So you're more likely to be infertile. It's not good. Your balls are heated up as well. Um, in women, they have an increased incidence of urinary bladder infections, vulvodynia pain in the private parts, uh, and vaginal yeast infections. So the answer is pretty simple. Wear looser pants or even wear suspenders. And then also get skinnier, lose some body weight. Um, I'll just show you real quick a couple of references. There's... there's you know, a bunch of papers there. This is just the one showing men who wear tight pants have 25% lower sperm counts. The women who wear tight pants increase bacterial vaginosis, uh, increase vulvodynia, you know, pain in the private parts. And here's just some of the other articles about it. So that's it for uh, tight pants.